and I mean, this is commented on before, I would say the majority of countries are basically controlling spread to a limited degree, but not sufficient to actually stop their case numbers rising. And I think we'll see in, in a majority of countries, if not the majority of the world's population, ongoing transmission at quite high levels, at least for the rest of this year. And I would include the United States in that. Um, I think in, in a, a much smaller number of countries, but including China, including much, much of Southeast Asia and, and much of Europe, you will see continued efforts to suppress transmission, which will come at a cost, a significant ongoing economic and social cost. Um, but I am moderately optimistic that we won't see in those settings um, very large increase in case numbers, or at least not going up to the levels we saw back in March. I completely agree. I mean, vaccine would be a game changer. I suspect given the number of candidates under development, we will have some promising news by the end of the year, of at least one or more candidates which show efficacy in people in clinical trials. But the scale up of vaccination um, is going to take considerable time. So whilst a few countries may be lucky and have vaccine by, for instance, early um, in next spring or summer, much of the world will have to wait longer.